Good day fellow modelers. Mr. Handy back with a handy review for you. This is uh this is what we're going to take a look at today. Uh this is a new BF109 E Emil uh for you guys that uh, uh it's been out I guess for a couple months now. Uh, I got it from Hanan a couple probably about a month or two ago. At Christmas, I believe. It was just after Christmas I got this. So as you can see, new tool for 2020. So, uh, nice box. I'm not a fan of these e boxes, unfortunately. Uh, I find that they're kind of uh, not the sturdiest thing. But there's the uh, colors that you get. The camos that you're going to get in the kit. So there's your kit numbers. So let's take a peek at what we got in the box. That's it. There you go. That's what's in the box. <laughs> so AZ, um, uh, like most of the other companies, like most of these companies are coming out of, or that uh, are out of uh, Eastern Europe. Nice. The, the packaging is nice. You got these nice uh, sealable plastic bags. Uh, you can open and close them, which is an absolutely wonderful thing to do. Uh, that way you don't have to pop it open every time. So there's your decal set for what you get. And again, here's your markings for everything, all the stencils for your a meal. Let's take a peek at the instructions. A little bit of a history. The caution before you uh, start working on it. Color count out and all the little symbols for what needs to be done. There's your parts breakup and what you uh, should and should not use. I like the uh, the color for the inside of the cockpit. The colors that they did. Uh, that's nice. These uh, these are fairly nice uh, instructions. So, as you can see, you get a nice uh, the uh, choice of the uh, uh, regular or the tropical radiator or air intake. I mean, uh, and uh, fuel or the bomb. Um, the only thing that it might not be great for people is the, uh, you can't open up the cockpit, unfortunately, but I do like the choice of having the armored glass. So let's take a look at the kit. Uh, usual gray, nice surface detail, I think. Um, if you take a look underneath too. There's some nice surface detail. Oh, and the cat wants to come and say hi to everybody. Hi, Peanut. <laughs> Can you okay, go? Go away. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get back to this. <laughs> so there is the uh, cockpit portion, of course. Um, some nice detail. There's the seat. Right there, prop, um, again, nice wheels. So um, you get the choice of your wheels. So you get the, uh, I, I'm not a huge expert on the BF109, so I'm not even going to venture to explain what the difference is between the wheels. It, look like, it looks like one has got uh, more spokes than the other, but... Uh, I'm sure that uh, those of you that are more familiar with this than I am will know what everything is. So that's your first sprue. Here's your second and last sprue uh, that holds the uh, main body. Um, as you can see, if the camera will cooperate with me, is some nice side detail. Not super, super great, but it is there. It's better than other 
companies that just tend to, you know, throw their stuff. Um, and give you those plain old cockpits. So, uh, as I said, some nice detail on there. Um, there is the uh, control lever. There is your, I believe that's the armored back. So we'll take a peek at the body. And again, I think it's some very nice um, surface detail on there. Uh, there doesn't appear to be too many blemishes. Um, some very, very, very fine um, uh, very fine rivet work around the engine and around the, the wing portions. Take a look at the other one too. So, some nice detail, I think, in my opinion, my humble opinion. I'm trying to find the instrument panel. That's the one thing that uh, I don't can't seem to locate. The number 49. So, let's take a peek on our instructions. Ah, there it is. So let's take a look at the, there we go, here is the instrument panel. Yeah, the camera's not being very cooperative tonight. There we go, you can see some of the detail. Um, Looks very nice, I think. Of course, you have the uh, decals. Um, the nice thing about uh, AZ's decals on these ones is that uh, they've given you the clear portion, which is nice. Uh, so you can just kind of fill those in on your uh, on your uh, detail here on the the. Uh, Hopefully you guys can see that. It is very nice. Um, and especially for the price of the kit. I believe the kit's about, was about, I want to say $15 Canadian. Um, I got it, I pre-ordered through Hanat, so I got the extra 10% off. Oh, I guess we should take a look at the clear as well. So there's your clear piece. I'm not going to get right in there. And open it up and I mean it looks fairly nice um, again you can't uh, display it open there's the, the gun sight as well and your armored piece armored glass um, like I said the only let down to it is you can't display it open um, so you'll have to do a little bit of cutting and hacking as I said, I am not a huge expert on the BF-109. Um, so I don't know what um, possible uh, mistakes there might be in this set. Uh, but, I mean, just as a quick look, it's a very nice looking kit. And especially for the price um, like I said, it was very, very worth it. Um, the only other ease that I'm aware of right now in 72nd scale, I believe, are the, uh, the old Tamiya kit, which of course is probably the best out there right now. Um, and I think that, uh, uh, Airfix does one as well. So again, just a quick review of, uh, the new AZ bf 109 pick it up at whatever store you can get your get it at um like i said i got mine from hanant i usually buy most of my stuff from hanant because i'm out in the sticks um so i have no 
local hobby store to support, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you see mistakes or anything, uh, please uh, put them down in the comments and uh, let me know. Uh, get me a little bit more wiser on the uh, Emil version of the BF109. Um, other than that, have a wonderful day. That's it for Mr. Handy. And uh, thanks for watching this episode of Handy Reviews. Take care.